catfish builds make 2k fun, and this slashing 4 build can do just a little bit more than slash. In fact, it can do pretty much anything. Here's how you make it. The position is a power forward and the handedness and drizzle number don't matter because those are both personal preference. And for the pie chart, you probably think we have some blue in there, but no, if you go all the way down, we go to the playmaking and shooting pie chart with a little bit more playmaking. No blue whatsoever, and for the physical profile, the best option is obviously the first one because we want to be as fast as possible while having a good amount of playmaking attributes. Starting off with the finishing attributes, we're going to max out the close shot, max out the driving dunk, max out the standing dunk, and max out the post hook for a total of 7 finishing badge upgrades, which is more than enough on a catfish build. And here are the badges that I would recommend on this build personally. For the shooting attributes, we're going to max out the mid range shot and the 3 point shot, as well as maxing out the post fade. And for the free throw, we're going to put that up to a 66 to get 17 shooting badge upgrades, which is a lot in 2K22. And here are the badges that I would put on. For the playmaking, we're going to skip over pass accuracy and max out the ball handle and the post control for a total of 17 playmaking badge upgrades, which is a lot, and here are the badges that I would put on, but you can also put on a bunch of different ones. Finally, for the defense, we're going to max out perimeter defense, lateral quickness, and the defensive rebound, and for the rest of the points, we're going to put that on block for a total of 3 defense badges, which is kind of low, but if you hit level 39 in previous seasons, you can make this higher, but here are the badges that I would put on if you only have 3 upgrades. For the body shape, it really doesn't matter, but I'd probably go with the fine. And for the height, you can go with a bunch of different options, but the best way to make this build is to make it at 2.03 meters or 6 foot 8. For the weight, we want to go all the way down to be as fast as possible. And as you can see, we get an 82 speed and a 78 acceleration, but with Jimrat and 99 overall, those are going to be a lot higher. And for the wingspan, the best way to make this build is to max it out. Our finishing stats probably don't look that impressive, but we get access to three really good dunk packages if you have less than a 70 dunk and park dunks at 99 overall. And for our playmaking, we get access to even more dribble moves at a 97 overall with that 75 ball handle. And for the takeover options, we have the choice of post score, sharp, shot creator, and slasher. If you want to stick with that catfish theme, then slasher is the best choice by far. But I think the best takeover in terms of performance is going to be either sharpshooter or shot creator. Post score can be pretty good and glitchy at times, but sharp is honestly the best choice by far, so that's what I'm going with. And you have built a slashing for honestly an insane catfish build. If you want a build that's even more overpowered on offense, then check out my 3 point shooter build video and with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.